Hey everybody, how's it going? Nick here. So, I know I haven't been posting for a while, but I've been studying uh, for Vertex uh, School uh, for Environment Artist. So right now I'm working on this little environment here, and um, I I did something that I thought that might be helpful for a lot of people who are getting into environments and don't know about uh, don't know much about te the technical side of things and and maybe you want to improve on that or at least you know if uh, even if you don't care uh, i think it's good for like artists even that are just environment artists to know some of the technical stuff behind so that you don't lose your mind while building your environment right so now uh we have the situation we have uh this this kind of light i've already done it but i'll redo it just for the sake of the tutorial so i have this kind of light yeah so it's a street lamp but as you can see i have quite a few of them now let's say that i want to change the intensity right of the light because maybe it's too strong so i have three uh rectangle lights on this yeah plus the emissive material on so this is a blueprint so if i click on the lamp you will see that i have the emissive material on it which is that that kind of rim do you see there and i have the three lights set up so now you could go crazy and you could go select them all every single time and just go change the intensity manually or just select one by one and change the intensity and the color or whatever it is you want to change you can go crazy with that and honestly it's pointless uh, there is a much better way to do this um, so first things first let's say you have your static mesh yeah so in my case I have the static mesh right here so only the uh, thing it's not even textured to be honest uh, there is two materials on it one is the emissive one is the basic material which is not even unwrapped correctly for now it's just a block out sort of but let's say you want to go ahead and uh, at least make the light set the mood see how it looks so first things first we make a blueprint folder I have my own I have my own blueprint already but I'll make another one just to show you so make a blueprint class actor we call it BP underscore street lamp tutorial and we're gonna open it so upon opening the blueprint you want to make a static mesh from here so add a static mesh called street lamp always good to give them names because you never know later what you might want to do with it and here in with the static mesh selected the static mesh uh, static mesh component selected not to be confused with the static mesh this is the component which holds a static mesh so we look for a street i swear i'm dyslexic today sm street lamp this one right here and there we have it so now this brought in the street lamp now what we want to do we want to add our lights so we're going to add the first rectangle light i'm dyslexic today that was not fun a rect light that's why i wasn't finding it right so we're gonna move it up and we're gonna turn it around yeah so we want to turn it so that it faces the correct direction this is a little bit uh trial and error because it's a it's a bit of an at an angle uh if you don't see the uh gizmo aimed at the correct direction it means that it's probably on global here so you can switch it up and now it's going to be at least aligned with the normal direction of the light so now we can move it, turn it around and place it to whatever we think is the best angle. I think that's pretty good. Um, we're going to then increase the width or at least fix it. I think something like this is pretty good. And the height, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know, but because I'm using volumetrics, I want it to be quite close to the actual mesh because otherwise it's going to look strange. Right. And the first one is position is not. Yeah, it's not perfectly aligned like this. By the way, it's on 10 degrees. I'll make the snapping on 5, so it's a little bit easier. Okay, great. Now, I'm going to... You cannot alt, uh, alt, click, and duplicate like this. You're going to have to control C, control V, because this is in blueprints. is a little bit different. I'm going to move it. I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to move it. I'm going to actually use the global. And then I'm going to reposition it. I might go back to local now, though it doesn't really matter for rotation. But 
soon I'm gonna move into the other one. By the way, I'm clicking them because of the tutorial, but normally I use shortcuts. So W is going to be the moving, E is going to be the rotate, R is going to be the scale. Same. Okay, and I would say the second one is mostly in position. All right. Yeah, that's that. It's pretty good. I'm not gonna waste a ton of time there. You know, you can go and tweak it as much as you want. Um, for the sake of time, I'm gonna be quick about it. There you go. I'm just gonna go back to normal now and fix it up. Okay, so now we have our light set up. Okay, one, two, and three. Now, what we want to do, you know, you don't want to go in here every time. Let's say you want to change all of them in the scene. Actually, you know what? Let's import them in the scene. Import one and just take a look at it. So street lamp tutorial and that's it. So it, it is working, but maybe that's not what you want. You know, maybe maybe you have like two or three of these lights, you know, like here and here. And yeah, maybe, you know, maybe you want to fix all of theirs. Uh, all of their uh, intensity or you know like uh, the attenuation radius and all that stuff just don't waste your time going one by one or even like opening the blueprint it's kind of it's kind of it takes time uh, there is a much easier way maybe if you want to change one or something like that this is just gonna be easier so you go into construction script right you're gonna grab all three lights now there are just three of them so you could just do it in a very simple manner but we're gonna do it in a bit better way by creating an array. Uh, why? Because if you are in a situation where you need way more lights, you're gonna have a ton of spaghetti and that's not good, right? Like I have this one, for example, like you see how it's only one thing connected in there, the array, but look how many lights I have in there. So we wanna do the same thing. So we're gonna make, make array, so drag off of one of the lights, doesn't matter which, and make array, okay? Um, then you want to promote this to a variable connected to the construction script and you're going to call this variable lights array. So what is an array? An array is some sort of a, well, it's not a container uh, because that would be a team app. It's a, uh, well, it kind of is a container. It, it's a container basically uh, that creates uh, a container for a bunch of things. In this case, it's lights, but it can be anything. It can be material instances, it can be uh, blueprints, uh, it can be anything. So in this case, oh, I made a bit too many. Uh, remove array element and remove array element. Um, and that's it. Now we made an array out of these three lights and the array is called lights array. Okay, so we have this array right here. This will control all of the lights within this blueprint that you give it. So we're gonna drag off with control clicked. So we're gonna drag off this. And now from this lights array, we're gonna go set intent. Oh, never mind. Sorry, we cannot do that. Uh, we have to actually call in from this one set intensity. But then once we plug it in, we plug in the array, or in this case, we just plug in this. It doesn't really matter which one you plug in. Uh, it's the same thing. It's for the sake of uh, easier understanding, I'll plug this in. It's strange that I cannot actually get get it from here. I've never really tried, but um, funny. You cannot get it from there. Yeah, can't really get it. Maybe if I remove context sensitive, it's gonna... Yeah, I can get it, but... Shouldn't be possible technically, but it is. <clears throat> so we drag off and look for set light color. It's gonna let us set up set a color. Also, we're gonna uh, set. Uh, we're gonna look at attenuation radius. Set uh, no nope, set attenuation radius. There you go. And then maybe uh, we wanna set the light scatter intensity. Um, Set light scatter intensity. Can we set it? I think so. Uh, let me find it. Volumetric scatter intensity. So we should be set volumetric scatter intensity. Let's see if we find it. Yeah, 
set volumetric scatter intensity. Why is there two of them? That's very strange, but there is apparently two of them. Okay, one of them doesn't work, so maybe the other one will. Set volumetric scattering intensity. Yeah, this one will work. It's probably because it's not context sensitive, the menu I'm looking in. Uh, it might be for something else, All right? So now we have this lights array plugged into everything. Now, next thing we want to do is when we, we want to promote these to variables, right? So because we want them editable. So we'll promote it to variable and we're going to call this lights intensity. I normally don't tend to give spaces because I code, but you should. We're going to compile, click on it, and we can actually set a default value. Sorry, I needed to stop one second. Um, so um, to set up a default uh, value, you're going to have to compile the blueprint uh, because when you create a new variable, you cannot set the default unless you compile. Now I'm going to set a default value of 5,000. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be a good starting point. For the light color, we're going to do the same thing and promote it to a variable. When we do that, it's going to create a, um, a linear color. Okay, again, another variable, which we can give it a name. So we call it lights color, then we can expose both of these to, um, you know, like make them uh, public, which means that they're going to show up when we click on any blueprint. Uh, same thing for the, the attenuation radius, we're gonna ah, just leave it as new radius, that's fine. Compile, set it to something like 1000 for now. And then the last thing, volumetric scatter intensity, we will promote also this to a variable. And we'll call it volumetric scatter intensity. And we'll make these both public compile and set a default value for the volumetric scatter intensity. In this case, I probably want to use something like around two. Normally that should be more than enough. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So what's happening here once again, so we grab the lights. Okay. Which are these grab the lights, drag off of them, make an array, add more pins, plug them all in. So this will pack all the lights into an array, which we then uh, set here in the beginning of the constructor. And we promoted this as a variable. That's why there is this set node. Remember, just drag off, promote the variable, and it's going to create that set node, which remember, you need to plug in uh, into the execution pin. So then we can drag in this lights array by holding control. So it's going to get a getter for us. And then from this getter, we can grab all of these functions, which are the functions that you have right here. Now, if we go back here, and we click on any one of these, right? Uh, we can then start tweaking things. Uh, remember that the um, uh, lights color is set to black. So we're gonna have to uh, we did not set the light color. So we can go back one second and actually set the light color because we didn't do that. Uh, it's now set to black, we'll set it to something like greenish, sort of maybe yellowish a little bit, just a smidge. That's it as a default value, because otherwise it's going to be black from the start. We can't see it. Now it's exploding and we'll set it to 5000 again. So now what we can do is that we can increase it gradually and see how that looks right. Now you're probably noticing, but it's only changing one of these, right? These are not being affected. Now that may be something you want to do. Because maybe I don't know, you want one street light to be blue and one street light to be red. And that's something you can totally do. But the issue here is that if we want to change all of them, we're going to have to change the lights color. Now you don't need to do it here, you can just do it from here, right? You just click on this, the base of the blueprint, and you can set the light color, right? So if I set it to something like uh, some aqua green, or some stuff, and I compile, I head back. Now they're all going to be switched to that. But since these two were modified, they're still going to be blue and red. So you're going to have to revert this variable to its um, its default value. So how you do that? I'll show you once again. So let's say they're blue, you want to revert them back, you're going to have to click on the reset property to default value, which is right here. Um, the same thing is going to be for the intensity, right? So normally, you do not want to set the intensity from here. Uh, what you want to do rather, is to set everything to default uh, values, grab the blueprint and drag off, put it something like here, and then click on this, 
expand this menu a little bit and then head back to the general um, to the scene right so what you want to do is you want to modify it from here so if i want to change the color i will do it straight up from this menu because it will change all of them and i can then set the default values correctly like for example the radius i can put it to something a bit higher and i can see now it's spilling correctly onto the street and the scatter intensity that's also something i can tweak from here see now it scatters way harder maybe it's something that i want to do so i will keep it on like something really high and then uh yeah the intensity i can also change it maybe make it stronger right and now i have this nice strong volumetric scattering with red lights and that's pretty much it and if i want to change one specifically you know you can always go in and do that so maybe i want this to be blue you know and it's going to change the light to a blue and maybe i want it to be a little bit dimmer and a little bit less scattering you know stuff like that and i can do it directly from here but like this i don't have to go crazy and go in and click every single light you know and change the variables uh individually like that i just have a nice little menu here uh which i can tweak and moving one of these sliders will affect all lights hope that was helpful hope that helps you out and catch you later in the next one